Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm on a bit of a scouting mission actually. I'm driving around the Galti Mountains that are behind me here in Cork and I want to try something. I want to be able to see is there a benefit or is there a difference in the photographs that I can get by using a wide lens or a long lens. Now a wide lens is going to give me a big wide open vista and I'm using the Nisi, it's the 14mm ultra wide lens, it's a prime and that's going to capture quite a lot of the scene. However, the advantage with a long lens is that you can pick out little vignettes as well of the scene and that will actually give you some different photographs that you wouldn't normally be able to see when you're using the wide angle lens. Now the light at the moment as well is going to be quite interesting. It's quite cloudy but there's some gaps in the clouds and I'm hoping that that is going to really change and give them a lot more dynamicness to the image. Now the sun is just coming out on me here and I'm waiting for it to come across because with the movement of the clouds as well to be able to light up the mountains that are there behind me. So that's what we're going to do today anyway. Let's see how we get on with the wide angle versus the long lens. Right away anyway you can see that there's a big difference by using the wide angle versus the zoom lens because I had some light that was hitting a ridge over here and in the wide angle shot it still would be nice but I quickly swapped out to my 7200 and I zoomed into 200 millimeters and I was able to get some beautiful light hitting the ridges as well on the backside here of the Galti Mountains. Now it's a place that I've driven past a number of times and I've always kind of said you know what there might be some nice shots to get here. I've had to drive around a fair bit actually to be able to find a location where I can get a clear view and I've managed to find one here albeit at the side of the road actually so I can't really get in here it's an electrified fence so obviously somebody just want me to get in there but by using the uh, long lens I can really see those details that I really would have spotted a number of times before but they only come to life really when the light hits the subject. Now at the moment here there's only a tiny little pocket of light that's hitting actually on that ridge but the sun now is coming out towards me so where these clouds are moving I think this light is going to come across the valley and then hopefully as well will end up at the destination which is the mountains on the far distance here. A couple of the different types of shots I've gotten as well with the long lens is along the tops of the ridges. So by having the advantage of being using that handheld, I can move that around and follow the light and watch that as it dances across the subject. And it's really, really interesting to be able to see the difference between the contrast between bright and dark. So I'll wait now again for the light to change a bit more, take a couple of shots anyway as well and thereafter. And I'll give you a look at some of the shots anyway I've taken so far uh, between the wide angle and obviously with the 7200 at 200 mil zoomed in. What I'm actually doing now at the moment is I'm doing a ultra long exposure so I'm going to go for around a two minute exposure with my 10 stop because I want to be able to capture the movement that I have in those clouds and then obviously pick up some of the bit of pockets of light as well that will um, be hitting those mountains. Now with the wide angle lens as well with the Nisi it's a, a very unusual lens actually there's a lot of manual controls within that so 
There is no autofocus, there's no image stabilization. To change your uh, f-stop, you do that manually, and then to change your focus point as well, you can turn your focus manually. Now, because it's an ultra-wide angle lens, pretty much everything is going to be in focus anyway in regards to it, but there's nothing that you can control on the camera, so it's pretty much kind of like old school. Um, but I do like uh, the, the ultra-wide vista that it does give you, and generally it's really, really sharp from what I've seen so far anyway using it, but yeah, I'm using that lens for this um, long exposure, and as you can see even here with the clouds that are in the back, they're very, very foreboding, so when they're moving across the scene, hopefully it will give me a nice shot anyway. So yeah, that's the next shot that I'm taking, and uh, yeah, I'll check back in again in a moment. When the light moves so fast, it's always advantageous to be able to have the camera handheld because you can follow that light across the landscape. I know which I'd prefer anyway here today, which would be this lens, because it's much better to be able to take these shots and to be able to capture the scene as well and those little fine little details that are within the bigger vista. With the wide angle lens, you get one shot, whereas with this, you'll get multiple shots and each of them is well different because of the way the light will fall onto the land. I'm going to finish up now on this episode and I'm going to head to another location. Hopefully I'll get some nice light as well for uh, sunset, but always good, I think, you know, to be able to assess the differences between the wide angle and the long lens. And on this occasion, the long lens wins through. What do you think actually? Let me know in the comments, which images do you prefer? Did you prefer the wide open or do you prefer the intimate uh, vignettes that I was able to get with the long lens? So thank you very, very much for watching this episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange fall.